What's going on guys? Welcome to another episode of Coach John Reacts. Today we're going to be reacting to Thomas DeLauer Keto Budget Friendliness. We're going to be doing a super budget keto snacks at Dollar Tree for a dollar. Now, for those of you that don't know who Thomas DeLauer is, really cool guy, pumps out a bunch of content on YouTube, very big in the keto low carb space. Um, I met him at a real salt, par real salt party one time um, at KetoCon. Cool dude, very genuine, very humble, very quiet. Um, awesome guy. Uh, he seems to be pretty awesome. I don't know him personally, but I've met him. Um, but I've always wanted to react to one of his videos. And this one just seems fun because one, it's Dollar Tree. So I might have some things to point out, but he's really health conscious. So I'm really excited to see what he pulled out. So I think it's going to be a good video for all of us. So let's go ahead and start the video right now. Guess what I just found? This one is much cleaner. This land crafted, 100% grass fed beef. I'm going to get to three of these. Wait, what? Did I just see a grass-fed beef stick at Dollar? Man, I'm telling y'all, if he pulls off some crazy stuff, I don't ever want to hear excuses from you ever. Ever. We're heading back into Dollar Tree today, and this time we're going to the snack section, and I'm going to show you a get this, not that run through. So that way we can have an idea of, well, which option is better than the other and why, especially if you're on keto and you're looking for some quick snacks. There are some amazing things that we can get at Dollar Tree, and I'm telling you, People tend to throw it under the He is so excited about this. He's making me excited about this. Bus because it's Dollar Tree, but a lot of times they get these products from the same distributors as they would at other stores. So we can find equal quality products for a dollar that you might pay $3 for at Walmart, $5 for at Target, or who knows how much at a regular retailer. I never want to hear excuses from y'all ever again after this video. Like ever. Let's head on in and let's try not to get kicked out. We'll make this quick. We're gonna start in the drink aisle because we might find something that works really well when we're on keto. Now the nice thing is you could pop into Dollar Tree and you can get yourself something refreshing and not spend $3 like you would at a regular convenience store. So these sparkling ice drinks are quite interesting. Did you? I love these. I think they have circulose in them. So I'm not a huge fan of the sweetener. Not that I don't drink circulose, but when it comes to optimal health, but it's not a bad, it's not a bad option. My opinion. I mean, let's hear his opinion. You know that they have a little bit of, well, this one might not. Yeah, this one's caffeine free. Usually they have a little bit of EGCG in there. It depends what flavor you get. Now EGCG stands for, get ready for it, epigallocatechin 3 galate, and it is what is usually in green tea. Now the cool thing is these sparkling ice drinks, depending on what flavor you get, of course, oftentimes has that in there, which is a nice mild antioxidant. Something that if you are just looking for something between meals, just to tide you over, it might work out perfectly for you. Now I only see that they have this flavor. Let me point out why this one might not be the best. This one's a little bit different. Best part about this is I can review this. I don't have to go inside. I don't have to have a mask on. I don't have to do anything. I'm just sitting here reviewing it with him. <laughs> different because they add some vitamin A into it uh, as an antioxidant versus the EGCG. I liked the EGCG, excuse me, because there's a little bit of caffeine in it, and that's kind of nice, just a small amount. But if we look at the actual ingredients in this, we have carbonated water, natural flavors of the second ingredient, which scares me a little bit, potassium benzoate, vegetable juice for color, apple juice concentrate, lime juice concentrate, sucralose. See, they're using sucralose. I'm not a big fan of that. Green Told you. I knew that was going to come up. Wait a minute. There is green tea extract. That's kind of funny. So they're using green tea extract, but there's still no caffeine in it. Something doesn't really add up because if there's green tea extract, there should be at least a small mm, sketchy. amount of caffeine unless they're using such a small amount of it that it's negligible, in which case the antioxidant effect wouldn't really matter. So a dollar for this just isn't that good of a bargain though because they're the same price at Target. They're the same price at most stores. They're usually 99 cents. Is oh. it acceptable? Yeah, in a simple way. Acceptable. It is kind of acceptable, and it wouldn't be my first choice, but it wouldn't be my last. Let's see what other stuff there might be. What are these Rockstar Pure Zeros? I mean, it's a good price to only pay a buck for this, but what do we have in here? We have carbonated water, citric acid, taurine, sodium citrate, oh, interesting, erythritol, caffeine, malic acid, benzoic acid, sucralose. Ah, uh -huh, interesting. So they use sucralose and erythritol. And potassium K. He totally skipped over the potassium K. The worst of both worlds. Now, erythritol is not bad, but why would you combine it with sucralose? It's like if you're gonna use erythritol, use stevia, don't use sucralose. You could get it by with sucralose only. Why also add erythritol in there? Very important that I note that erythritol is not bad. The issue that we run into is that 
It is something that you would typically use on a low carb protocol. And yes, it does settle into the lower intestine and cause a little bit of bloating. A little... See, told you, you should track total carbs. Know what you're putting in your body. A little bit of passive diffusion where water draws into the colon. But I don't know, that's, it just doesn't make sense to have erythritol and sucralose when you could have just one or the other and not have both going on. Anyway, it doesn't really make a lot of sense. Um, there's still some other drinks here. Let's check them out. I'd say one of the most common drinks that I see people getting from the Dollar Tree is going to be these Rip It energy drinks. Sucralose, potassium sorbate, and acesulfame potassium. Just word to the wise, one of the things you want to look out for on a keto diet is acesulfame potassium. So acesulfame potassium is one of uh -huh. the few... He caught it on this one, but not the other one. ...sweeteners. It also shows up as ACE-K, A-C-E-K on a label. One of the only sweeteners that has been demonstrated in studies to trigger what is called a cephalic insulin response, meaning when it hits your tongue, it triggers the pancreas to produce insulin. Now, it is a very inconclusive data point with that because different studies show different things, but most of them that I've seen with acesulfame potassium demonstrate that there is that cephalic insulin response. So what that tells us is if you're doing keto, the moment that you have an insulin response, your liver stops producing ketones. So we take a little break from ketone production. Does it mean it kicks you out of keto? No, but it could potentially slow down the fat burning that's occurring there. So I don't recommend acesulfame potassium. I try really hard to avoid potassium K, but the truth is, is that there's a lot of things, especially like your, like that 90-10 rule I like to have, there's gonna be some things that have it in there. So kind of just pick your battles, right? Like. If 90% of the time you're eating whole foods and you're staying away from it and you happen to like a drink that you have occasionally that has it in there, it's up to you. It's full, it, You're empowered to make that choice, but I, like, I don't stress it. Like, uh, like there's a sweet tea that we have that I drink once in a blue moon. I mean, once in a blue moon. So when I have a glass, I don't stress it. So far out of all of these, the sparkling ice drinks would be acceptable, not ideal. But it's the Dollar Tree, you're on a budget, you gotta get by with what you can. The best thing to do would just be to have water. Uh, here's something interesting. <laughs> what about these Propel Fitness Waters? What's going on here? Fitness water. Interesting drink. Electrolytes, we have, ooh, we run into the same thing. Now I wouldn't expect to see super healthy stevia, uh, you know, Truvia, erythritol, monk fruit, kind of sweetened stuff here. It's just not going to happen because it's the Dollar Tree and everyone is pinching pennies even as far as the supply chain goes. But unfortunately, to be called a fitness water or electrolyte water beverage and to not even really have good electrolytes, like look at this, it has salt, 160 milligrams, and only 40 milligrams of potassium. That's a Z. 40 milligrams is jack squat. You get 400 roughly milligrams per four ounces of raw beef. So, Put that in perspective. Zero percent of your daily value. Like you're not getting anything out of that. Pantothenic acid, which is vitamin B5, a little bit of that. This is still worse. I would almost still rather lean, like you're gonna get better benefit out of the ice drink than you are out of this. Propel fitness water, if you look carefully, it's made by Gatorade. And if you look at this, it's made by Powerade. So obviously fierce competitors. So they're going to pay attention to that and they're going to make similar products just with different names. It's almost the exact same product. I found another one that looked promising for a minute until I flipped the label around. It was this Peace Tea. So many things look promising until you flip the label around. That's a fact, Jack. T zero. I liked that it at least had tea in there. And then we had some citric acid, natural flavors a little further down, but acid, sulfur, potassium, and sucralose. The thing I do like about it is at least Ex with the exception of those sweeteners, at least this is pretty minimal ingredients. There's not a lot of stuff in there. There's no benzoates, there's nothing. It's just sweetener, water, tea. So it's nice. It's in the world of dirty sweeteners, this one's not bad. So see, there's levels. There's always levels. Pick and choose your battles. It's just a lot of acid, sulfur, and potassium, which couldn't be the best thing, but it's also not the worst. At first, I thought I found something cool. Okay, so this Premier Protein ready to drink, uh, protein drink. Let's see what's in it. it. It looked promising, but unfortunately, it's not the best. Okay, water, milk protein concentrate. Uh, it's not whey protein, it's just milk protein. And it's not even isolate, it's concentrate. Then we have oats, soluble corn fiber, which is rough on the gut. So you're gonna get a lot of bloating with this. Sunflower oil, natural artificial flavors, cellulose gum, and Oh my God, hexametaphosphate, yeah, lots of preservatives. Acesulfame potassium, eh, not clean, I'm sorry. So I know it's a dollar, but it's not even a good quality protein. It's coming protein from oats and from 
milk protein, not even whey protein. So they haven't even concentrated the protein. They're just taking the milk. So I want to take a quick look at the refrigerated section and I found some more ice drinks. I found ones that might have the EGCG I was talking about. Let's see what's up here. Doesn't look like this one has it either. So we're in the same boat, but I did find more of them, at least different flavor if I wanted to diversify a little bit. But then I found some Perrier, which I am absolutely okay. Perrier. No, not Perrier. Perrier. Put. Put, 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 put. It's good for you. With having uh, during a fast. But watch it. Carbonated drinks can dilute stomach acid, which gets in the way of digestion. So be mindful of that. Just to get yourself a little bit of something different does have some natural flavors in there. Let's see what's in it. Carbonated water, natural flavors. What about this aloe stuff? Because aloe would be keto friendly, but a lot of times they add sweeteners to it. Yeah, they did. They added sugar to this one. So it's kind of funny. Want to know something funny about aloe? Aloe is what they call a hydrophilic colloid, which means it draws water into the colon in a positive way and can help support like the gut mucosal layer. So people will use it just to help out with their gut, gut health and gut pain, right? Bad gut pain. Drink aloe. What's interesting is if you have sugar in the mix there, it denatures that completely. It also triggers the production of what are called lipopolysaccharides, which break down the gut mucosal layer and trigger some inflammation at that cellular or epithelial wall. The epithelial layer are the small little cells that line the small intestine. So if you're hurting those cells with sugar, those are sweetened with erythritol. They've done a really good job of bringing the coconut extract so that you're for sure. Ooh, this is kind of nice. What is Talk this? Lot, which is good, but I'm here to. Now through January oh, 7th, join ad. Planet Fitness for no enrollment. Ew. Start 2020. Planet Fitness. Yay. I'll keep this in the one with tons of ways to get. I know that's not like a snack that you might. Ooh, that's some cool Whatever. Stuff. Okay. Open yes, up a can. Yeah, I'm happy. So if I was in a pinch and I was on the go and I needed something like really quick and I just needed to get some protein in, I feel like this could be a decent selection of stuff for me. There's some good protein options here in the can Macro food and brine is fire, Now it's not going to be ideal, Coconut but we're can. trying to do clean keto. We're trying to do things right. Most of the time, mackerel is wild caught, not farmed. Even the cheap stuff. So look at that. So what's this? This wild caught seasoned with lemon pepper. 14 wild grams caught. of protein with two grams of carbs. Light sugar, tuna, right? not albacore, which in this case we want. This one has a little bit of sugar with this, the flavoring. No big deal. Black pepper, citric acid, lemon juice, a lot of people, if it says sugar on the label, they won't even go near it. But the thing is, is like if it's one gram of carbs, like if you're eating 20 grams of carbs every day and five of those grams are from one gram sugars inside like a packet of tuna, it's not going to kick you out of ketosis. It's not the end of the world, especially when you're in a pinch. When you're at home, obviously get the sugar-free stuff. Be smart about that. Avoid foods that are not conducive to the healthy environment you're trying to create. But when you're in a pinch, don't overthink it. A lot of people, they'll see this and go, it has sugar in it, and they get overwhelmed, and then they just like give up on keto for the day. They're like, you know, I'll just eat whatever, because everything has sugar in it here. I might as well just eat whatever. No, no, no. That's still the way better option. Still the way better option. Modified food starch. That's a little frustrating. Then at least it has a pea and carrot broth in it. But I mean, it's a buck, and you're getting some good clean protein. So that would be okay. But what about just the one that doesn't have any flavoring in it, just straight up protein? Well, let's see. Here we have light tuna, water, vegetable broth, I'm guessing the carbohydrates are coming from a little bit of the carrot, but that's still not bad at all. Dolphin safe, mm -hmm. high protein, wild caught. It's just nice to see that for once. I mean, at least tuna is generally wild caught, but at least it's sustainably caught too. I'm happy to see this. So the question is, should you get it in the pouch or should you get it in the can? I prefer getting it in the pouch because it's easier on the go. And I tend to think that there's a little bit less in the way of some of the lining that could be in the can. Now, a lot of companies have moved away from BPA lined cans where you don't get the, uh, bisphenol A and what is BPA, the stuff that could have a toxic effect on you. Most cans have moved away from that, but it's nice to see the pouches because it's super convenient to be able to eat it in your car. Super true. Cans, cans, we definitely want to avoid canned food. We want it as fresh and natural, as close to where it was at the time of pulling, harvesting it or killing it as possible. But cans have actually gotten a lot better over the years, so it's okay. I think that this video, if anything, it's going, hey, you can do keto on a budget and it's all these things are still better than a Snickers bar, hands down. Car and not run into an issue of making a huge mess or needing a can opener. I'm definitely in, so I'm gonna get one of those. Nice little snack. Might be able to mix it with maybe some almonds or something that we get from here just to add a little bit more fats to it. Fun fact on mackerel, not that I expect you to just eat a can of mackerel. I but this is just a really cool fun. 
I would. Because mackerel is one of the highest fat fish that you can get as far as being a good fatty acid profile too. So in this case, we have mackerel, Guys, water, and salt. I kind of want That's mackerel. It. I'm going to eat mackerel after this. Okay, now mackerel is one of the very rich omega-3s. Let's see if it's, does it even list it? It does not, but it's very rich in omega-3s. And it's one of the overall just fattiest fish that you can consume on keto. So it's going to be very, very, very satiating. Also exceptionally high, even more so than other types of omega-3s and other fishes in what is called DHA, which gets into the brain. Does it really? And when really? you're on keto, one of the goals is... I really like mackerel. ...to get as much in the way of free fatty acids, or should I say ketones, entering into the brain. Well, what ends up happening with keto is because some of your inflammatory markers are down, because some of the different signaling occurs as a result of the gene expression, your blood-brain barrier changes a little bit, allowing more fats in. So in this Inflammation clogs the pathways to the brain. Let me simplify this. Keto makes inflammation go away. Things can pass through the blood-brain barrier. That's another reason why keto is so good for things like body dysmorphia and depression because it allows nutrients and vitamins and other things to get through the blood-brain barrier to give the brain what it needs to produce better levels of serotonin, etc. In this case, we can allow that. Okay, we got soybean oil, and then we've got in water. But I, again, I get it. Okay, you're on the go. You just want a quick snack that's going to be good on keto. Get the ones in mustard. They're really good. Check out the ingredients. Okay, we have sprats, which is starting. I was not expecting him to say that. Water, mustard flour, acetic acid, a little bit of cornstarch, but salt, turmeric, a little bit of xanthan gum, uh, extractives of turmeric, and annatto coloring. So yes, we have some, I hate mustard. Some weird stuff. If you wanted to keep it as clean as you possibly could, you'd go with the ones in water. But I'm telling you, if you're gonna eat them on the road, get the, in the mustard, it just tastes a little bit better. I love that it's got acetic acid in it. Let me tell you something about that. Water. I'm not just trying to be weird and picking apart every single ingredient to you give you though. a yay or a nay on something. You. But acetic acid is the active ingredient that you're gonna get out of apple cider vinegar too. Now what acetic acid does oh, is it drives okay. up what that is called sense. AMPK. When acetic right, acid, let's, let's skip this next. Bad price, a dollar for these uh, harvest snaps. Do you approve of those from keto? Mm, they're not perfect. They're definitely not keto, but green peas, okay. canola oil, rice, salt. Not it perfect. Could, Canola oil and rice. That's not, I say hard no on that. And it's a start, okay? I don't think I it could be worse. I thought that I'd at least point those I out. Disagree. If you're not doing keto, it's not a terrible, terrible snack. I it's disagree. I wish they used slightly better oils. Anything weird in this? Non-GMO, that's nice. Okay, so at least we're using non-GMO soybeans. Ooh, yes, we found a nice little keto snack. Those of you that are super nerds on my channel would probably avoid this. But here's the deal. We have to remember that we are on an extreme budget. This might not be forever. This might be just temporary. This is a crazy time that we're all living in right now. And we're all waiting to see when the other shoe is going to drop. I don't know about you, but I'm trying to save money when I can and where I can. If that means that occasionally I have a snack of edamame that's from a non-GMO source, let's see, Golden Beach, Torrance, California. It's not coming overseas in some weird area that I don't know. Look at the ingredient profile. Okay, I don't like they add soybean oil. That's a bummer. Okay, but it's probably a negligible amount. Soybeans. Why? I hate when they have something that already has it in it and they add more to it for whatever stupid reason. And then we have eight grams of carbs, six grams of fiber. So let it be known that it is not ideal, but if you're looking better than a Snickers bar for a quick keto snack that is high in fiber, you just want that crunch. There are better low key edamame's fire options, but this one would suffice. If you are vegan or sweet, if you're vegetarian, fire. I think a little bit of this might be beneficial for you. And at least it's non-GMO. And it's only a buck because I know the other version. I, I actually like this because he's a real nerdy guy. So to be able to become humble and like find what's best for the person in the moment, knowing what you know, is super awesome. And it shows crazy humility. And it's something I strive for. Um, so I really respect that he's making this video. Hint, for sure can't remember what brand it is they have at Costco and what other brand it is that they have at like Smart and Fine. Ah, pork rinds. Well, that's a little that's gonna be disconcerting. Clean. Why? Oh, it says right on the front. Pork skins and salt. That's all we have to it. Pork skins and salt. Nothing else in there. No flavored pork rinds ever, ever have the ingredients you want. If you want flavored pork rinds, buy the normal ones, get them home, spray them with avocado oil, dust them with the seasoning, toss that bad boy, and you have flavored pork rinds with seasonings you trust. None of them ever, ever don't have MSG, sugar, something. Ever. This is going to be a higher fat version. See, look, four and a half grams of fat, 
for a half ounce serving compared to, let's just say, regular pork rinds that are like puffier, right? Mm, let's see, that's a bad example because that one... Actually, it's about the same. Okay, so that's interesting. So half an ounce. No, what happened was, was those cracklins aren't real cracklins. Real cracklins are gonna be like 6.5 grams of fat because the fat's still attached to the skin. Four and a half grams of fat. So I guess the only difference is where they're getting the cut from. This should be higher fat. That's a little bit odd. Normally you'll see fat back or chicharrones like that being a little bit higher fat because there's more fat. They're chicharrones, cracklins. Cracklins are the higher fat version. On it, you can literally see the fat, like a chunk of fat. So that doesn't really add up all the way, but it's really nice and clean. That's, it is interesting. That does look kind of like a crackling, that little piece. Clean, I like to see that. The way that pork skins are made, they're fried at a very high temperature, and you want them usually fried in their own fat. Do it. If we had the option, oh, I found some pecans. Natural pecan halves. Doesn't mean they're organic. Pecans are, but that's kind of nice. Game Just changer. To find when people tell me they can't get enough fats in, I'm like, you're not eating enough nuts. Bro, a cup, okay, half a cup of nuts is 40 grams of fat and eight total carbs. Bro, cut back on the keto treats, cut back on the veggies, make like one of your meals half a cup of nuts. You'll be so satiated from that. Half a cup of nuts is so filling. I think a lot of people, they eat veggies and meat and then they, they, they binge on nuts and they overconsume calories. What they need to do is they need to eat the nuts first. Have your little crazy bowl of nuts. I, I, I encourage you to have it, but don't have it after you've eaten a bunch of stuff that's not satiating. Eat it first. These Now, pecans, if you've ever noticed, like the skin is really soft. And you know how three grams of carbs, three grams of fiber, so only one gram of net carb, that's 22 pecans, grams. Though. Oh yeah, pistachios and I'm rushing salt. through this because it's 30 I think minutes. this made my other Dollar Tree video. So this is a really good find. Pistachios are higher carb nut, but pretty negligible too for this pack. We have six grams of carbs. Pistachios aren't fibers, bad. Four I like pistachios. I do like pistachios because I like the, I the, the, the ads. mineral profile. They're just higher carb, which there if we wanted to. Salted filberts, which are hazelnuts, and salted almonds. An ad's coming. This is a an ad is coming. With Kajabi, it's easy to take the knowledge you already have and turn it into a profitable online course. Check it out. Really good blend. So just pick the peanuts out, or just have them in moderation. This nutrient profile. Peanuts you have five I like grams that. of carbs. I respect that. Three grams of fiber, so two grams of net carbs feel very weird after having this. Then there's this one from Butterball, oh. pre-prepared to yes. feel very weird. That's disgusting. Guys, guys, just because it says low carb, there are, there are options. Don't go to this one. Just because it says five carbs and go, oh, I'm in a rush. Look, there's probably better options. I bet you have five ones. Then there's this one from Butterball. This is kind of interesting. Ooh, this is cool. Oh, this is turkey jerky. Ah, I get it. Okay, what do we have in here? Call this track but a ball on the ticket because it's better than the best y'all chicken. Instagram OG followers will know what I just did. Turkey, brown sugar, water, natural flavors, soy, soy sauce. Okay, it's gluten-free soy sauce. Oh. Hmm. Uh, mm -mm. The Trails West or Trails Best, excuse me. Still has some soy protein, the, but the, I know from the soy sauce in there, it doesn't say there's wheat in there, so it's gluten-free soy sauce, but it has a lot more preservatives. So we. Guess what I just found while I'm in the checkout line? Seriously, check this out. This one is much cleaner. This landcrafted, 100% grass-fed beef. See, that's eggs. amazing. Holy cow, this is a super cool find. Really good find. Found legitimate grass-fed. Found Really good find. Holy cow, I cannot believe that I found legitimate grass-fed beef sticks at the Dollar Tree. All right, guys, so that's the video. Um, I really enjoyed it. I think that Thomas did a great job with this. I think that he was amazing in being able to take all the nerdiness he has in his head, because it's hard for me, too. Like, when I see people eat things, I know what it's doing to their cell structure. It just it bothers me. So being able to, like, take all that knowledge, but then still condense it, water it down, and make sure that he's meeting people where they're at to help them in these hard times and these crazy times that we're in um, was amazing. I agreed with a lot of what he said. I don't agree with the uh, the pea crisp chips. I think that those are terrible. I don't think those are okay even for vegans. Um, but other than that, I thought he did a great job explaining things. Um, yeah. Uh, all right, guys, that's it for this video. If you want to see me react to another video, put the link in the comment below, and I will shout you out on the next video. Till next time.